In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to give you some tips on installing and using the Light Leak Overlay Package. It's one of those additions that CyberLink has made available for free to subscribers or at an extra cost to non-subscribers. When I see some of these new tools coming along, I have questions. Where do I find it? How do I install it? Once it's installed, where is it in my program? And how do I use it? So I'd like to answer some of those questions in this brief tutorial. First of all, the question is, how do I get it? If you're a subscriber, then you simply go to your application manager and you click on the Packs tab and you will find it there, either installed or uninstalled. Mine happens to be installed. It's called Light Leak Overlay Pack. Or another way you can get to that, if you don't want to go through the application manager, is simply go online, go to CyberLink, and then you will see a page telling you more about this new package. This package has 48 overlays, which basically is 12 in four variations, as it says. And you can scroll down and you can see some videos that show a little bit about what they do, but not really about how to use them. So you can get them separately or you can get them as a subscriber. But one question a lot of folks have, myself included, was once I have it, where in the world do I find it? If you look on all the menus on the left side, it won't appear. If you look in the plugins, here or in the top menu, it won't appear. Where in the world do these 48 effects go? Well, you have to have a clip that you're working on. I have one of a boat in the water here with a lighthouse. And when I click on it and then click on the Tools menu, I have an option called Blending Effect. And when I click on that, I will now find the new ones added to my content here. So we said that there are basically 12 variations in four colors. They are all start out with the word light leak. And here I find several. I have a 01, I have a blue, green, pink, and purple that are 01. You notice they have about the same shape. The next ones, if we look down further, are 0, 2, but here I have a blue, green, light, and pink, and yellow. Again, you notice it's the same kind of structure. Then the third one is another pattern. We have this other color, opposite color to the right. We have blue, green, purple, and yellow. And then we have number four in green, orange, purple, and blue. Then we have number five, where we have a darker area on the upper left corner in blue, green, orange, and yellow. Then we have two opposite ones, a light one on the upper right, a brighter one on the lower left. That's number six. Then we have a number seven. And you notice know, a similar pattern in four colors. We have a darker one, a number eight. In four colors. Then we have number nine, which has a lot more variation in the coloring at the bottom. And then we have number 10, we have left and right. And then we have uh, smaller colors, again in the same variation pattern in, in number 11. And then we have number 12. So those are your patterns. Now how do you use them? Well, let's take one of the more simple ones. Let's take this blue one here. We'll click on it. And now we've modified the screen. We have an opacity level that we can use. And we have one of many different blending modes. The default one is the screen blending mode. So if I play the clip, I will see how this pattern is reflected in the way it appears on this clip as applied here. And I can make it more pronounced by cranking the opacity way up. Or I can make it more subdued 
by making the opacity much less, and that will minimize the effect. So you can make it more dramatic or less dramatic depending on where you have your opacity settings. I find that whole topic to be a bit complicated myself, but let's just try one other one for fun. Let's just try Lighten. And notice we've got a different blending mode here. If I play this, it's blended my light leak blue differently into my clip. I'm going to be developing some new tutorials dealing with blending, so if you'd like to learn more about the subject, please stay tuned. Instead of spending a lot of time going through these one at a time, I would just encourage you that this is how you find it. We'll cancel out of that. I'll discard my changes. But again, the key is you work on a video clip and choose Tools and then Blending Effect, and then you can get to the tools available in the Light Leak Overlay Package in CyberLink PowerDirector.